How are we doing YouTube? I don't know if you've uh, seen the video. If you don't know how to run and install Pinocchio, go ahead and check out my other video. I just finished doing the video on how to install uh, Pinocchio. So now that I have it installed, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And we're going to start with Forge. Uh, each day for the next couple of days, I'm going to do a couple of these and go through them. I've been playing around with them for uh, about a month now. And I believe that a lot of these are very mentionable with the prices of AI right now. So we're just going to click on Forge and you're going to hit download. So first thing first, once you hit that, that download first, it has to install all this before it can install any of the repositories, any of them. So it's going to install this, Conda, and everything else. And then when it's done, it's going to install a few more. I will be time-lapsing that. So I'll, I'll be right back. as I, After I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click the install and let it do its thing. Don't flip out. Do not close this screen. Let the screen do what it needs to do. It will take about 10 minutes. So again, we're done with the first stage uh, and not everything got installed. So now it's going to go get Git, which I already have it on my computer. So I don't know why I'm saying it's not, but I'm going to go ahead and let it do what it needs to do. Um, again, because of most of this is for NVIDIA, you got to have your CUDA. So go ahead and hit the next button. Like I said, uh, it be about 10 minutes. So here it is right here. It was actually seven minutes and 27 seconds. So now that stable diffusion, the forge is now ready to be installed. So it already installed all of its uh, nodules or repositories of what it needs to install. So now we just hit download. And now this is going to take, okay, this is going to take about another 10 minutes. Go ahead and hit install. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your computer specs. So me, I'm running a 13700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and a 4090. And it takes me roughly about 10 minutes to run. Remember, this is the first time, though. This, is, you, this isn't going to happen every single time. This is only the first time you run this on your computer and letting it do all of its downloads. All right, so total time was 20 minutes and, what, 20 seconds? So that's my total time in there. So now we are presented with Forge. Before I get in and show everything, what everything is, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and hit stop. So from the stop, now we're here. Now you have this right here on the left-hand side. You have the download modules, or excuse me, models, modules. <laughs> it is a module, but it's a model. So you're going to click on here. And these are going to take just a little bit of time to do. Uh, you don't necessarily need them all in here. I do, just in case I want to switch between and see what each of them do. Um, but I would come in here and I would install all of them just to make sure you really need Flux now. Uh, Schnell and the dev nf4 which is already installed uh, that's the main one that's installed once you first install forge but Schnell is the fastest one especially if you have anything uh 12 gigs or under so i'm going to go ahead and install all mine real quick all right and so when you're done installing all the the modules that you have go ahead and, and this button here says start you can't hit start here it won't do nothing just go ahead and hit start there or close it out and restart it completely. So I'm just gonna hit start right here. So it takes about you know a minute or so to get loaded in. So now when we get loaded in, every all of our modules are here. So I might have one or two different modules that you do not have because uh, I already added in my extra ones that I had that I got off of Sibit. So uh, which there again, I can come here to my checkpoints and here's all my checkpoints uh, that I have in here. So uh, now from in here, again, like I said, the NF4 V2, that is the standard that is uh, in uh, in Forge here. So at the top, we have uh, st regular standard uh, stable diffusion, uh, stable diffusion XL, flux, and then all. You got your VAs, which there's nothing here. You got your automatic, which you leave to, or your diffusion in low bits. You kind of want to leave it here unless you know what you're doing. You got your Q method, and then swap between locations. These are your CPU or shared. Um, it sets mine since I had the 4090 to 23, uh, almost 24 gigs. Uh, but I back mine down to about 15 is where I put mine at. Um, even me with my system, I get a lot. So if you're running a 12 gig, I would bump it down to 10. If you're running an 8 gig, at least give yourself an extra gig of uh uh, VRAM to run, you know, just your normal system. So I would bump it down around seven. 
Uh, I have tried this on a 3060 Ti, and it does run. Some of them take about two to three minutes, depending on what uh, checkpoint uh, model you actually use. So when you come down some, you got your sampling method. Uh, Euler is the main one that a lot of people use. You have your flux. You have um, DPM plus plus two uh, M. So you got different ones here. You got your uh, textuals, which I have nothing here. My checkpoints, of course, and then lures. Uh, it already has this lure put in. Uh, but you'll learn as you go about lures and what lure is. Lore is if you want a certain style, people make a certain style, and then you add it in, and there's a trigger word. Once you put that trigger word in plus the lore, it'll make that style. So if someone makes something that looks supposed to look like metal, and you make, uh, say, a cute little dog or a cute cat, and then you put that lore on, it'll make that, but it also keep it in, uh, make it that metal uh, look uh, for that lore. What else we have here? So when you put in your, your prompt here, your negative, over here we have uh, all your styles. So if you want to make a comic book, a cinematic, anime, and you can, you can double these up and try to get the AI to really make you something just completely off the wall. So uh, you got your uh, folders right here that they automatically save to. So let's go here and let's make us a uh, quick image. Uh, well, real quick, before the quick image, your steps, you don't want your steps no more than around 40. And then your CFG scale, it default is 3.5 right here. Uh, some of them, for some of the quicker um, quicker models, you might even drop it down. Some of them go up. I go in between uh, 2 and 5 on mine, and then I keep my steps around 30 to 40. Uh, more doesn't mean better. More doesn't mean that it's going to give you a better result. So now that I said that, so then you got your sampler schedule, um, Caras or Caras, however you want to say it. It's used a lot, but it also depends on the model. If you're wanting to use that and you learn that that's something that you like, you're going to come through here and it might be on one scheduler or one checkpoint, and not the other for your schedule type. So let's come in here and say, oh, let's say, what do we want to do? Cat and, let's see, make a cinematic uh, cinematic 8K. Actually, we don't even need to put make. We can just put cinematic. Make sure that you're using commas and periods. Cinematic 8K. Uh, dog and cat walking on the surface of the moon. Okay, so now here's your your scale right here of where you're at. I normally do mine. I'm going to do it for this video here. I might do a couple in the 1920 by 1080. I like all mine to least be 1080 because then I can upscale. Which real quick, let me go there real quick. So you got image to image. You can upscale images here. You got stuff here. Uh, your your spaces. All this needs to be installed. So I still don't have all mine installed just yet, but all this needs to be installed. You got your extras, which is, this is your upscaler right here. So you can make an image here, lower quality. You can rescale it up and resize it once you're done. So, and then it will keep the same image that way. Uh, oh, and your seed right here. Seed, if it's the same number, so say you find a picture and you want to make multiples of them, which I don't know why you would unless you can figure a way to change it, but you put the same seed in it, which I'll show you here in just a sec, and uh, it'll create that same image so you can take that same seed and then you can try it in a different uh, checkpoint so anyways let's go right here and go ahead and generate this first generation might take just a little bit longer let me go ahead and pull up task manager real quick why this is doing that go to performance so i'm 80 percent so far utilization i'm eating about 17 gigs of my uh, video card but remember, I have it set to 15, but that's for dis uh, for OBS and everything. All right, so it's over here, and it's making it. It's cool that we get to watch it in real time. So there we go. It's uh, one dog's walking one way, one dog's walking the other. So let's go ahead and hit it one more time. And again, it all depends on your prompt. You can go to any, like, open AIs. Um, there's some AIs on here, you know, Llama, uh, ChatCPT any of them and get you some 
um, prompts, or you can go to say uh, Leonardo or Kling and take someone else's prompt, which I'll show you here in just a second. And then that's going to wrap it up for this video here, uh, just to get forged in and get you up and going. So this one here took 26 seconds. So <laughs> the cat looks like a human there. So again, let me go ahead and I'm going to go to Chanel real quick. Let me see if I can find the Chanel. Oh, there it is. I, I completely went right over it. So now again, now once I hit this, it is going to take a little bit longer this first go round of doing it. Okay. So just for it to, it's resyncing to this checkpoint now versus the other checkpoint. Then after that point, every video, every one that you create after that should be quicker depending on your steps and your uh, distilled uh, CFG right here. So again, the last one was 26. That was 30 seconds. And look at that. That right there, the dog is even... I didn't even put the astronaut in, and it gave me an astronaut. But the dog is like he's in the no gravity. That's that's pretty cool. So again, like I said, see that 30 seconds? I'm going to go ahead and generate it again. Schnell is one of your fastest ones to do. Um, again, you got to play around with it just a little bit, uh, for your steps and your, uh, distilled there at uh, 15 seconds. So again, more of a cat and a dog sitting on the moon surface. We can, uh, let's go ahead and just take the cinematic and, uh, 8k out. Go ahead and let's run it again. Again, unless you're changing like the checkpoint, you, sh you should still be getting these roughly about 15 seconds, you know, each one of these. And of course, you know, depending on the checkpoint, uh, there's a checkpoint juggernaut, which is pretty good. And that's not too bad besides that. That's the moon behind it. Um, again, like I said, you can come in here and you can, uh, let's do a 3D model. So this is SAI 3D model. You got so many you can choose from in here to change your actual style. And like I said, just because I changed the style, I don't know why, it, those didn't all go. It was just a 3D. Uh, just because I chose that right there, I shouldn't be that much more. See, so only two seconds. So I, I don't know what way to look at right now for the 3D model. Let's go back and let's go to, let's go to comic book. Let's make a comic book version of this dog on the moon. But again, if I gave it a more prompt, you know, dog walking, you know, cat doing whatever. And this, this is looking pretty good so far. Look at that. That right there. I mean, you can start making you some kids cartoons. Uh, it does look like he might be missing the back leg, but it's not. It's behind uh, this front paw right here. So it looks very, I, I would have liked to seen the leg come down right here or right here. To me, it would have looked a little better. All right, so this video went a little bit longer than I wanted. I want to try to keep these as short as I can, but to give you the most informative and in how to actually use these. Uh, these can actually turn into, you know, an hour to two hour videos easy. Uh, go ahead and leave comments down below if you want uh, a little bit more uh, detailed uh, of some of these programs. Let me know. I'll go a little bit detailed, uh, but I have to have enough people that are wanting that because I know a lot of people just want to get to the point, learn how to do it, and get it done. Uh, I will come back into Forge, and I'm going to show uh, in a different video upscaling. And you can upscale images that you create off of any AI right here. Forge has so much more built in. But I will be coming back through and uh, I'm going to be going through Comfy UI. This is the easiest way to learn Comfy UI. Um, E2 F5 right here. I will be uh, discussing it. I believe that it can be an 11 Labs uh, replacement. Uh, will it completely replace it? Probably not. But do you know what? It's free. You can have your voice. Uh, there's going to be a couple of these in here that I will be going through and uh, explaining. So I'm Thomas with Tomology. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.